Hey everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs, and in this video I'm actually making myself a clock and I'm using some Clearcast 7050 resin. I also have Just Resin's Blue Diamond and Turquoise Pastes and Master's Touch Blue Green Oil Paint and then also Teal Light Turquoise and Angel White from Lorez and those are all paste as well. And then I'm going to also grab the Mayron Silver Metallic Powder. And as I mentioned, this is a clock for me, and this is actually the third time I poured it. The first two times were good, but just didn't end up as I wanted them to be, um, to go with my decor. And hopefully I'll get the videos for those, um, for the other layers edited so I can show you. And if I do, I will definitely add links in the description, so check for those. Um, in the first layer, I did some swipes and I just kept kind of playing around until I was happy with the textures. After letting the first layer cure, I then added some Viva Crackle Paste um, that I got from Laura at Laura's Art Corner. I used uh, Black Sumi Ink, Liquitex Inks, Iridescent Bright Silver, and then I also will grab the Mayron Silver Powder as well. And I used those to color the Crackle Paste. And I added that to the center and I covered some parts of the first layer that I wasn't happy with. Um, before adding the paste, I will lightly sand it and um, clean it with alcohol just to get the whole entire surface prepped.
Once the paste was down, I grabbed some ocean blue sea glass that I also got from Laura's Art Corner, and I added that kind of as a separation between the resin art and the crackle paste. I wanted um, just to tack it down, so I also grabbed my favorite super glue gel, and first I lined up various pieces and then just tacked them down with the super glue. After adding the glass, I sealed it with Krylon's UV resistant clear spray. Really it was just to seal down the crackle paste a little bit just to make sure it didn't kind of flake off or anything and then also to seal the color on the glass so that didn't come off in the next layer of resin. Once the spray was dry, I mixed up some more of the ClearCast 7050 resin and I grabbed some Lorez Midnight Black paste as well. And then I just added that on top. Once that layer was cured, I used some stencils to mark the hours of the clock using a silver paint pen. And I lightly scratched the surface um, everywhere except the paint, of course, with some sandpaper and cleaned it off with alcohol just to prep it for the final layer of clear resin. And then after that resin was cured, I added the clock movement and hands, and now it's ticking away the hours on my wall. As usual, I have some close-up pictures coming up in just a minute, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and love this piece as much as I do. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, turn that notification bell to all, and give the video a thumbs up. You can support my channel and keep it going by clicking the links below. And I've also included links to my website where I have some products for sale, my Amazon shop, and the products that I've used in this video. Stay tuned for the images of It Completed, and I will see you next time.